Hi, I'm Doug Gould of Worship MD, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to improve your audio in your church. First thing I want to talk to you guys is about the high pass filter. On your mixer, you might have a little switch that says HPF on it, or it might say low cut. And it looks kind of like this a little slant with a, a line with a number underneath it. That number indicates what center frequency the highs are going to pass from, and cut everything below that number. And it's very useful because it gets rid of a lot of the rumble that happens on your stages, especially small worship stages that are plywood, carpeted, a lot of kick drum rumble, that kind of noise. If you apply that switch to every one of your vocal mics, your guitars, your snare drums, your cymbals, anything that produces mid and high frequencies, it'll remove all the rumble and low end noise that you get. Don't apply it to bass guitar, don't apply it to kick drum and some other low frequency producing instruments. And when you do that, you'll notice that your vocals will actually start jumping out, even with a lot of extensive EQing. Um, fixed high pass filters are good, but variable ones are even better, like the one I have on this PreSonus console. This one actually varies as a center frequency from zero all the way up to 1K. Well, why would that be useful? Well, think about a hi-hat for a minute. Hi-hat's very close to a kick drum. If I would able to high pass that microphone all the way up to the lowest frequency of the hi-hat, it would eliminate all that noise. And same thing with cymbals on overheads, same thing with female vocalists, I can write it up a little bit above, above 80. There's really nothing in the human voice below 100 hertz. So play with it, use your ear, and adjust it accordingly. And I'll see you next time for the next tip.